Do you want to complete your mission? Then we're going to have to learn how to do this. We're going to have to get better and more effective at walking with the Holy Ghost and playing this game, frankly. Of a truth, I perceive that God is no respecter of persons. Now, who's God in the earth today? The Holy Ghost. Emphatically, clearly, he's the living God. That's who the Bible calls the living God. I perceive that God, the Holy Ghost, is no respecter of persons. Does that make you happy? Yes. Makes me happy. Now, everybody starts the game the same way. And then it's really up to you and how you play the game as to how far you go and how good you are. I perceive that God is no respecter of persons, meaning we're all on a level playing field. Say level playing field. Level playing field. That's level one. Mm -hmm. And then we go from level one to hopefully level two. But in every nation, does that include here? Yes. Your nation, yeah, wherever you are. In every nation, he that fears him. Him who? Him God, him the Holy Ghost. Fear, another word that we use for fear is to worship. Mm -hmm. Are you talking about worshiping the Holy Ghost? Yes. In every nation, God is no respecter of persons, but he that worships him and works righteousness is accepted with him accepted with him when you're accepted with God he does things for you is that too hard to understand when you're accepted with God he heals you when you're accepted with God he meets you and prospers you when you're accepted with God he does things for you that's the goal are you here that's you going to the next level every time God does something for you is a new level I said every time that God does something for you is a new level yeah you see because every time God does something for you is a new level don't you want to go to a new level and have God do things for you mm -hmm. yeah so we see here if you worship the Holy Ghost and you work righteousness the righteousness of faith speaks so speaking is working the righteousness of faith mm -hmm. say that speaking, speaking. is working Worship. the righteousness Worship. of faith okay. so if I worship God and speak the word of God or speak the righteousness of faith mm -hmm. what am I gonna be I'm gonna level up I'm gonna be accepted with him is this good mm -hmm. in every nation you play it like a game and if you play it like a game you often win the reward like it or not you are in this game yeah. imagine if you woke up in a game and you had to now figure out what worked how to move your hands and do what you had to do to accomplish and get to the next level mm -hmm. well like it or not you're in a new reality a lot of people might be hearing this for the first time the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and he's the only one in the earth today and how we walk with him is by saying words that is a completely new reality for some people they have some other idea how it works anybody know anyone like that yeah almost everyone I know is like that they don't have that understanding of this is the world they're in they're now in this world where you're with the Holy Ghost say I'm with the Holy Ghost, with the Holy Ghost. and I walk with him walk by with speaking him. words by speaking you words. see isn't that good mm -hmm. now if you learn how to do it and you can learn all the techniques and the ways to do things you can get prizes they get prizes. get prizes reap rewards and now you have to overcome obstacles not have to you get to say I get to I get to, I get to overcome obstacles right mm -hmm. that's part of the challenge why would people play these online games with they didn't do it oh I'm gonna try to make this guy hop over this thing mm -hmm. how do I do it there's a specific way to hop over the thing say there's a specific way to hop over the thing right and if you don't do it the specific way you don't get over the thing you don't go to the next level you don't get the prize are you here yeah. you get to you're in the earth with the Holy Ghost he's in the earth you get to overcome obstacles accomplish tasks fulfill promises is any of this any good yeah. fulfill promises and complete missions do you want to complete your mission 
then we're gonna have to learn how to do this we're gonna have to get better and more effective at walking with the Holy Ghost and playing this game frankly if you can learn how to do it better you get higher score than other people mm -hmm. my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge remember that mm -hmm. Isaiah 4 chapter 4 verse 6 my people my gamers are destroyed for a lack of knowledge or a lack of know-how they don't know how to do it they wonder why how do you get the sickness to get off of you they don't know how how do you get the devil to get out of your finances they don't know how mm -hmm. there's techniques and things you have to learn how to do even if you don't want to do it you got to learn how to do it you know play you gotta learn how to play the game of life my people or gamers are destroyed for a lack of knowledge knowledge how to do a game I mean this is you some people who do play these games sometimes Olivia has some games and I'll try to play it and I'm just awful at it I don't know what's going on and so I don't I I just fall off a cliff right because I don't really know how to walk around my head's going one way my feet are going the other I don't know how to do it and they're just hopping over things and you know and doing all kinds of stuff no this is how you do it click 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 well how would they get that knowledge they learned how to do it oh if you want to get over this cliff you got to go here and climb up there if you go over here you fall off huh, I know I fell off there you understand remember you're in this earth you're with the Holy Ghost you have things to do and there's a way to do it and people are destroyed or not doing it because they lack the know-how so there must be know-how if they're destroyed because of the lack of know-how they must be able to succeed because of know-how it's his game it's his rules we're in it whether we like it or not like I said it's his game it's his rules certain things work some things don't is this true and you know, the quicker you learn it the the faster you'll be able to progress it's his manual say it's his manual, it's his manual. see this is the manual but a lot of people it's closed to them because they're reading it with you know their religious blinders on they don't see what they need to see about the Holy Ghost and them in the earth anyway I worship you Holy Ghost or worshiping the Holy Ghost remember we just read that in Acts it said I perceive that God the Holy Ghost is no respecter of persons but in every nation that he that worships him mm -hmm. and works righteousness or speaks right words is accepted with him worshiping the Holy Ghost saying the words I worship you Holy Ghost using those words is a beginning of walking with the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today why because you worship God worshiping the Holy Ghost is just the beginning of an adventure Woo! life-changing adventure transforming your life it's a new world it's a new reality that you've stepped into you need to get serious about it a lot of people are not serious about it they just like playing their religious game mm -hmm. you're talking about playing a game I'm talking about getting serious about it and winning the game we play to win say I, I play, play to, win. to win I like to win say I like to win, I like to win. right nobody likes to lose we play to win it's not whether you win or lose it's whether you win <laughs> learn the tools learn the techniques develop your faith and win you know what if Jesus showed up to you in a vision and bunked you on the head and said learn the techniques learn the tools develop your faith and win what if he did that to you bunked you on the head what would you do I'd keep playing the way I always play no you have to change I got news for you if you don't play if you don't change the way you've been playing you're not gonna win people play religious games people that don't live in this reality of walking with the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today by speaking words they're playing a religious game but they're not playing the game you understand mm -hmm. they're not playing the game they're not gaming the kingdom they're not gaming the Holy Ghost they're not playing the game mm -hmm. they're playing a game they're playing a game mm -hmm. our job here is to get the highest score possible I've been saying that for years you don't want to just come you want to come up short 
you want to get through by the skin of your teeth whatever those are gums I think why do you want to get through by the skin of your, you want the highest score possible you know the talents you develop them and he said enter into the joy of the Lord well done who did he say well done to the ones who used them he learned the techniques and he was able to get the most out of it right yes. you want the highest score possible well there's a Holy Ghost life hack there's a way to do the Holy Ghost and his kingdom that will take you farther faster than other people who are just playing a game Do you understand this second Timothy chapter 2 verse 5 if a man also strive for masteries yet is he not crowned except he strive lawfully now being crowned they were talking about the early Olympics you understand that right you receive a crown you receive a prize if you win the race and you have to strive lawfully it means you've got to stay within the boundaries of the rules that they set forth is there a way to increase your performance in the kingdom of God or in the game of the kingdom mm -hmm. well there's all kinds of techniques and ways that we can increase our performance in the kingdom of God one is by knowing the rules knowing the laws and knowing the techniques of how to apply them if we learn those things we can advance quickly just like in the gamer world if this happens you got to do this if that happens you got to do that mm -hmm. God comes through when you do it his way but when you come to that you do this when you come to this obstacle you do that when you come to this and you need that promise this is how you respond to it Matthew chapter 6 verse 31 we're talking about techniques of what to do take no thought saying what shall we eat what shall we drink wherewithal shall we be clothed don't take the thought first of all and certainly don't say it right. say don't say it don't say it if you want to overcome this obstacle you don't take the thought and you certainly don't say it mm -hmm. you understand yes. that's step number one mm -hmm. take no thought saying what shall we eat what shall we drink or wherewithal shall we be clothed verse 32 for all these things do the Gentiles seek what are the Gentiles seeking and playing the game for all these things what they can eat what they can wear what they can put on where they can live all of this stuff for all these things do the Gentiles seek or play the game for your Heavenly Father knows that you have need of all of these things he knows you need those things I wish he would show us how we're supposed to do it the Gentiles do it this way but we're supposed to do it this way look what he says seek ye first say first. first now he's trying to tell you how to get over this obstacle how to overcome this problem and how to have these promises is he not mm -hmm. seek ye first the kingdom of God God who God the Holy Ghost his kingdom his way of doing things the way the kingdom works seek ye first the kingdom of God and his here it is again righteousness his way of doing things the right way what's the right way number one is to say the right things and nothing will happen is that what it says no, no he said if you do this say if I do this, if I do this. then I'll have that so if you seek first the kingdom of God or the kingdom of the Holy Ghost and his righteousness his way of doing and being right then all of these things shall be added unto you and the, the amplified says taken together all these things taken together will be added unto you what things all the things that the Gentiles were seeking they're playing the game that way we play the game this way and we get all the things mm -hmm. are you seeing this we get the prize that's the goal we need all the things all these things that the Gentiles are seeking and playing for we get all of those things by God's method of seeking first his kingdom and his righteousness so in this game that we're in with the Holy Ghost one of the number one rules one of the number one techniques one of the number one tricks of the trade so to speak one of the number one life hacks in walking with the Holy Ghost 
mark chapter 11 verse 22 and jesus answering said unto them this is my special ability and you can't do any of this kind of thing is that what he said he said have faith in god or have the god kind of faith and if we're talking about the holy ghost being god in the earth today we're going to have the same kind of faith or act the same way that the holy ghost would act right in agreement with him have the god kind of faith for verily i say unto you that whosoever shall say whosoever shall say under this mountain be thou removed be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe what does he have to believe to believe those things that he saith shall come to pass he shall have whatsoever he saith now most people get tripped up here because they have to believe they think that the mountain has to be cast into the sea and your mind can't believe that but that's not what you're supposed to believe that's not what you're wired to believe that's not what the Holy Ghost has designed you to believe he's designed you to believe the things you say come to pass mm -hmm. the number one rule in this game he's designed you to believe the things you say come to pass mm -hmm. and shall not doubt in his mind mm -hmm. is that what it says no. no it says doubt not in your heart where do you believe you believe with your heart you believe things with your heart mm -hmm. faith works in the heart even with doubt in your head mm -hmm. nice shall not doubt in his heart that place that he believes but shall believe that those things plural well if he was just talking to the mountain he would have said thing wouldn't he have who said if he would believe that that thing he said would come to pass no believe those things this means it applies to all the time you're not you don't get out of the game every other tuesday you're in it all the time you believe the things you say come to pass you believe the things you say come to pass he shall have whatsoever he says so I don't doubt in my heart but I believe the things I say come to pass is rule number one say this I don't doubt I don't in, my heart. in my heart I believe, I believe. the things I say things come, come to pass you want to win in this game you want to be a winner you believe the things you say come to pass are you a believer what do you believe you believe the things you say come to pass I'm a believer but people be like ha, ha, no I believe that you know that I die and go to heaven you're barely in the game but you're walking with the Holy Ghost you must believe you doubt not in your heart but believe the things you say come to pass I'm a believer I'm a player in this game I believe the things I say come to pass and you get far farther and farther ahead that's how you use the controller that's how the things work you understand we saw Jesus working it I don't doubt my heart I believe the things I say come to pass I have whatever I say see how this could help someone who's just woken up in a world where he's with the Holy Ghost and walking with him he has to doubt not in his heart but believe the things he says come to pass if you're gonna be a player you have to doubt not in your heart but believe the things you say come to pass what are you believing the things you say come to pass say I believe, I believe. the things I, I say come to pass Hebrews chapter 11 verse 3 through faith we understand how do we understand this through faith we're believers this we understand this say I understand this through faith believing we understand that the worlds were framed by the Word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear by faith we understand that is that true yes. what's everything made of that you believe you're a believer you believe that the world is made out of words it's not a stretch for you to doubt not but believe the things you say come to pass having the God kind of faith if you believe that mm -hmm. what's gonna change the things 
words what changed the fig tree words the believer speaking words I'm a believer this is what I believe through faith I believe this I understand this the fact is we live in this world made out of words that's the game field that's the game we're in that's the world the Holy Ghost entered into he came into this earth made out of words you walk with him in this earth with the Holy Ghost by speaking words the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and we walk with him in this world made out of words by speaking words if you get this number one thing you'll be able to go farther than most people can. I'm a believer and this is how we play the game Ephesians chapter 6 and 17 and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit which is the Word of God what sword are you using in this game the sword of the Spirit which is the Word of God how do you wield the sword you say it you're gonna get good at this you're gonna get say good good at saying God's Word that's how you get good at walking with the Holy Ghost take the sword of the Spirit who's the Spirit the Holy Ghost it's his sword who you with you're with him in the earth it's his sword and he's letting you use it to do what slay whatever problem you need slayed you got to say it though remember you're gonna believe what you say comes to pass what if it's the Word of God that I'm saying am I gonna believe that that comes to pass yes that's the technique that's what you do I believe that the words I say come to pass and now it's not just my faith I'm speaking God's Word and he has his faith on it I'm talking about ways to win in this game that you're in whether you like it or not with the Holy Ghost in the earth when I say my God supplies all my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus I'm wielding that sword and we're believing the things we say come to pass mark chapter 4 verse 35 and the same day when the even was come he saith unto them now this is Jesus you think he knows what he's saying you think he is applying the principles that he's been teaching them remember he taught even the disciples they weren't even born again people he was teaching them how to believe what they say comes to pass and they have whatever they say that's what believers do here's Jesus he saith unto them let us pass over to the other side you think he doubted that they would pass over to the other side no and when they had sent away the multitude they took him even as he was in the ship and there were also with him other little ships who was in the big boat Jesus had a big boat yeah. yeah and there arose a great storm of wind and the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full well that's that's pretty scary for the guys in the little ships isn't it right <laughs> and he was in the hinder part of the ship asleep on a pillow mm -hmm. he must have believed what he said that he was going to the other side and they awake him and they say unto him master carest thou not that we perish and he arose and did what and he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the what the sea again he's doing he's speaking to things mm -hmm. he's doubting not in his heart but believing what he says comes to pass mm -hmm. and the wind ceased and there was a great calm and he said unto them why are you so fearful how is it that you have no faith who is he re he rebuked them mm -hmm. how is it that you have no faith mm -hmm. he's been there teaching these things mm -hmm. and he was confused by it mm -hmm. how is it that you have no faith what kind of faith the same kind of faith mm -hmm. look what it says and they feared exceedingly and said one to another what manner of man is this that even the wind and the sea obey him what kind what manner of man is this he's a believer he's one that believes and doubts not in his heart but believes the things he says comes to pass he's a regular believer he's someone in the game are you here he's someone playing the game 
if the game means you got to shout to the wind you got to call in the money you got to rebuke the sickness you're a believer that's what you believe what do I believe you believe you doubt not in your heart you believe what you say comes to pass that's the game you're in so he said peace be still and they said what manner of man is this well what manner of man was he remember what he said have the God kind of faith he was a man with the God kind of faith he had a super bark he had a super shout he had a supernatural power that had power over the physical situation say I have a super bark <laughs> things listen to you what manner of man is this that even the wind and the sea obey him well now we should understand what manner of man he's someone who's been practicing he can get better at this you can get better at this say I can get better at this what happens when you play the game you get better at it what about with money what about with things that you need what has to happen they must obey you because you're in a world made out of words and you walk with the Holy Ghost what manner of man or woman are you Ephesians chapter 5 verse 1 be ye therefore followers of God as dear children now the word followers in many other translations is what imitators be ye imitators as of God as dear children what do children do they imitate their parents who are we imitators of God we're supposed to have the God kind of faith where we say things and we believe they come to pass what do we believe comes to pass the things that we say be ye imitators of God as dear children who says that the word says that the Holy Ghost wrote that he could have said be ye imitators of me speak the same thing I'm saying you want to win in this game you want to go to the next level say I want to go to the next level then you're gonna to have to learn on this level how to speak the right way and speak this the right things say this after me I don't doubt in my heart but I believe the things I say come to pass I don't doubt in my heart I believe the things I say come to pass I don't doubt in my heart I believe the things I say come to pass I have whatever I say thank you Holy Ghost I pray for these people I ask you to bless them seal that word into them and they shall go forth says the Spirit of the Lord if you keep those words and speak my words you shall see new things manifest in your life and the next level shall open unto you and we'll all be happy and rejoice in Jesus name Amen, Amen.